Hey guys, what's up? It is Mike Chef here bringing you a video on how to wrong OBS on how to get OBS to work with your HD PVR right here. It's PS3, and as you can see, I move over and I don't have my hodgepodge capture open at all. It's just going right through OBS. I'm gonna show you how to do that, and all you have to do is by well, let me close this real quick. Now I'm going to keep it open for you guys. But when you do so, you go to obsproject.com. Go to OBS. As you can see, it it's multi-platform. How to get it work with a multi-platform. People do install plugins and such that allow you to work with it. And they do have an early test beta. And... You know, click window. Oh, my bad. Go to form. And you go to multi. You go right here. OBS multi-platform. Go to window support. And then you'll see right here latest test build. Well, did not expect that. Latest test build. Click on that. You are going to need the VS 2013. Go download that. Click on the link. Start hit download and then follow the instructions but you are going to need that and then you download the test build right here the link to this form page will be down in the description but then you're just going to have to, and then you, once you get downloaded you are going to get this folder right here this one not that one and then you hit and then I have 7-zip, I don't use, um, what's it called, I don't use WinRAR, so you, it's not going to extract it to the whole desktop, so you're just going to have to click on that, but you're going to make a new folder, I label mine at OBS, it's going to go here, right click, extract all, then it's going to make another folder right here, and it's going to pull this up, the thing that you want is in bin. 64-bit, I haven't tried it yet. My PC is 64-bit, but I've heard it crashes a lot for 64-bit, so you just want to go 32-bit and click on that. Oh, hold on. Close that real quick. Open it up. Minimize or close. Whatever you want to do with that. Just like that. So then, let's remove that. Yes, you remove it. And as you right here, settings, mic and such. Don't worry about that. I'll show you how to get that to work. But then you go add video capture device. I label mine PS3. Okay. Because that's the system I play on. And that, that's my face right there. Hi world. Alright, now it's frozen. But yeah, and then here's... Don't mess with any of this. Hit OK. If you're... Yeah, yeah, you're... HTTPVR is going to flicker a couple of times. It's all good. It's just starting up. And then you get right here into this screen with your game. Well, first it's going to sh look like something like that, probably. Just go down here. How do I do this again? You go to transfer, and then you go stretch the screen. It stretches it to the full screen without you having problems. Because if you. Hold on. My bad. Say if it's like that. And you try to, it's not going to stretch out the way you want it most of the time. I don't get why it's working now for me. But yeah, when I got it, it didn't work. So then I just went transform, stretch the screen. That's what I did. Or you can go to fit to screen. It does the same thing. But in order to get this stuff down here, like the mic, the desktop audio, and PS3, which is a cool feature about this, which I really love, go to mixer. My bad, my bad, my bad. You go to settings. Whoops. You go down to audio. And then here's desktop audio device one. Click on whichever one. I click that one. Leave that one disabled unless you got another thing running in the background. Say you got music or something running on a different one. Mm -hmm. Say virtual line one. Click on that. But then I just put none because I don't have anything. But then your microphone here, or if you have multiple microphones, which I don't really know why would you have multiple, and then you just hit apply. But then 
if you're streaming, pick whichever stream one, whichever whatever you're streaming on, right here, and then you go find your stream key, which is right here on Hitbox, which is I stream on. You go down to the live stream settings, and this page pulls up, and then stream key right here. You hit show, generate new, whichever one you want to do, and then for Twitch, it's the same setup. You go to dashboard, then you go over to stream key or account one of the two, and you'll get it there. And then, yeah, and then you just want to do that in the video. You can customize that how you want it. Advance for advanced users, output, put where you want your video to go to. Here's advanced mode, which is crazy in my opinion. I think I just screwed that up. Hit cancel. But then that's how this how it works guys just quick tutorial on how I stream and how I get my stuff working I just legit downloaded this today earlier and it, I tested it out it works perfectly fine it's better than Expo in my opinion because your PC isn't going overboard on it like I said you just move that over and it shows up here but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will 